Welcome to this EH Connects news update in which EH wants to introduce a new EH advisory board member to you. Her name is Anne-Claire Carrere and she is responsible on a global level for hygienic engineering at Nestlé. Anne-Claire, nice to have you with us. Can you please introduce yourself to the audience? What's your professional background? Well, I'm a food process engineer from AgroParisTechs in Paris. I have now more than 15 years of experience with Nestlé in different category and different roles, was fortunate to work, work in the food business and dairy nutrition business, and I also led a CAPEX project in the area of aseptic processing for Nestle Health Science. There I started to work together with the technical competence unit in Konolfing, and then after they uh, asked me to come and join their team, which was really a super opportunity for me, and um, during the past Years in Connolfing and I uh, supported projects uh, in the area of cleaning in place um, over, all over the world, traveled a lot there as well at that time. And now since a year, I'm in the team in Vevey uh, in corporate manufacturing excellence, supporting um, hygienic engineering for the whole group. We have put together um, a very ambitious roadmap. We want each engineer with Nestle to be passionate about hygienic engineering in the design and in the maintenance of all our assets. On your LinkedIn profile, you characterize yourself as an out-of-the-box platform manager. How does out-of-the-box thinking in hygienic engineering help Nestle to play a leading role in the space of hygienic engineering and design? Well, at Nestle, we put the consumer in front of everything we do. And it is very important for us that the engineers uh, also do so. What is challenging for us, uh, it's that we need to, you know, to innovate, but we need to keep in mind the cost of our project. And, uh, and also we want to design solutions uh, that are sustainable for the next 20 years. So the operator uh, need to manage to work with this machine for the next 20 years and need to be happy about it. So our consumer is on one side, uh, the product consumer, but our consumer is also the operator of the line that uh, needs to uh, really uh, master the process of the of the machine. Mm -hmm. And this is on this one part, very important for us to be innovative. But on the other part, it's more on the engagement aspect of the people all, all around the world, where we uh, need to make sure everyone is involved uh, in this journey coming from everywhere. How does Nestle manage to guarantee the quality of its hygienic engineering? And how do you make sure that the equipment that you use will continue to comply to your own standards and to the EH guidelines? Well, we have put in place a lot of different things right now um, in the area of project management. We are uh, building 3D models of our factories where we can, um, where we can really uh, go and zoom on uh, each single items and then uh, we will be able to uh, you know annotate if it's a gap or uh, check or if the design is correct so this is one thing the other thing that we are doing is um, is during commissioning we are using 3d goggles so that the expert can uh, follow the commissioning uh, with the operator on site and add him as well and the uh, The other thing during commissioning is that uh, we have, uh, for example, in Konofingen, they have now uh, a room where they are doing commissioning. So uh, they have the, 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 the room, like the operators have their room with the HMIs. We have the same mimicked in, in the Konofingen factor factory, for example. And finally, I think the most exciting things I have done myself the past couple of days was uh, we are uh, for uh, workshops. We have like a virtual conference center and we each uh, chief engineer uh, has his own uh, goggles for the virtual reality. And I have also one set now in my in my place. And then we uh, we have some session when we are joining all together in this virtual world and doing some working working sessions. You can do uh, easily brainstorming, we use a flip chart, and it's really, really nice and interactive. It's, uh, you, it's, you really feel like, uh, like you're with the people in the same room. So it was a very, very nice experience. Nestle has had a long-standing relationship with EH, with your predecessor, Hugo Piquet, uh, who also is your colleague at Nestle, and who contributed to the EH Advisory Board uh, very actively in the past. Um, how would you describe the relationship between Nestle and EH? 
Well, first of all, we have a long-standing relationship uh, together with uh, EH. Yes, we have the same objective. Uh, we want the trust of our consumer. I think this is our main objective. And we want to produce uh, food, safe food. And if it's not safe, it's not food. And this is our common objective, I have to say. And therefore, uh, you will always count on Nestle to support EHGG. Very important that we have the involvement of the food producer because they are the end user of the machines. And the food producer, when they buy a machine, invest in a lot of money in the machine, they need to live with the machine for their next 20 years or 30 years or even longer. So very important to have the feedback of design from, from the end user of the machine, which are the food producer. So I will encourage other companies to join me in this journey. How does Nestle and its suppliers make good use of the benefits of hygienic design? You already hinted on it that you said food processing companies should be part of this community to give insights to the equipment producers on what you're looking for. So what are you looking for in equipment? So what we are looking for as Nestle for, uh, for our machine is really we want, um, in, there is no question about hygienic design. Most of the time we, we, we want to install machines that are easily to maintain, easy to clean. And we want to have a positive impact on the environment as well. And we want the operator to love to work with the machine. So if the operator needs to spend hours to clean it, it's not uh, really uh, the best way to do. So when we are buying a machine, we are looking at different angles. We are looking at uh, hygienic design, obviously, but we are working as well on the environmental impact, the positive uh, impact on the productivity of, of the machine and the maintainability of the machine as well. So we are, this is what we are expecting. Now you've been active in the EH board for six months now. What is your personal view on the role of EH within the food industry and the food equipment supply chain? Well, EH uh, has to be uh, recognized as the leading source of expertise in hygienic engineering. This is, and this is already recognized, I think continue to uh, support the harmonization uh, and the standardization on the requirements on hygienic design. I think what's very really important is to also to close the gap uh, that we may have in the industry in, in some areas where there is not yet uh, guidance. This is for me very important. And I think what really will be uh, the future will be to create a package of documents user-friendly, work on the digitalization of uh, the concept. And um, this is really where I think we, are, we have some work to do. Anne-Claire Carrera, Global Hygienic Engineering Lead at Nestle. Welcome to the board and thank you for this interview. Thank you too, Rob. It was a pleasure to see you. 